Hello everyone, this is Kathy Barnett and I am running for Congress for the 4th Congressional District of Pennsylvania. Almost by default, my personality is one that is always looking for the bright side, that is always looking for the silver lining in anything. And it is very true even as we all face this very real threat of COVID-19. It is my hope that during this time of containment, we are beginning to remember what is most important to us. And what is most important to us is family. There's nothing greater than family. And so now as we're all being forced in some cases to sit together, together, eat together, play together, talk together, hang out together. Um, we're having family members that will usually be away from the house for about eight hours of the day, now working home. I hope, it is my greatest hope that for all of us across this nation is that we are once again remembering what is most important to us. Because for so many years, we have had politicians. The politician's job is to represent us to the government. Instead, what they have been doing for so many years is going to Washington, D.C., and then coming back to us and representing the government to us, going to get the government program, the government ideas and policies, and then coming back and representing those things to us. It should work the other way around. They're constantly trying to tell us what is important to us. And so no matter where you fall on the spectrum of every single issue that will ever be faced to us, the constant thought shall always be what is most important to me and my family. What is going to help me and my family thrive? And that's not generally the case. For example, right now we have construction companies that are being closed. I received an email from a friend whose salary has just been slashed in half. Half of her, uh, half of uh, the employees are being furloughed. I've seen restaurants uh, on the verge of being uh, bankrupt. I've seen bars close. Uh, uh, movie theaters are, are uh, 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 movie theaters are finding it difficult to stay in business. We have the airline industry um, talking to us about a $50 billion bailout, but guess what's not closed right now? We have mass containment all over the nation. Some cities are actually going into martial law, uh, barring people from being out at certain times in the evening, but guess what's not? being closed right now. Abortion centers, yes, right here in Philadelphia at 777 Apple Tree in Phil downtown Philadelphia, this particular Planned Parenthood, all they do is, um, is perform abortions. No, they do not test for STDs. They only perform abortions and they are open. And now even Joy Reid, who is no conservative whatsoever, had to ask the question when she found out about Nancy Pelosi slipping in that poison pill of funding Planned Parenthood and the family's first coronavirus bill. Why is she doing that? What's the point of funding Planned Parenthood when we're trying to make sure small businesses don't go under and that the little man has what it, what it, what it is that he need? It's the same question. It's because politicians time and time again are constantly coming to us and telling us what is important to us, right? And wherever you fall on the spectrum of of abortion does not matter to me. What should matter is that if we have, right now, uh, Congress is looking at an $850 billion um, stimulus package. That means $850 billion that you and I are taxpayers are going to have to pay. And if they're, and if we're going to be willing to do that because we believe businesses are going under and the, and the, and the, and the average American need that kind of assistance, then let's make sure we're doing it the right way. If everything else is being closed and people livelihood is, is being threatened, then why, oh why, or Planned Parenthood facilities still open right now. I mean, some some selective surgeries are being um, postponed, but not abortions, right? Because time and time again, we have these elected officials who go to Washington, D.C. and try to represent the government's ideas and agendas to us.
It is my hope that if nothing else comes out of COVID-19, that is, we will begin to remember what is most important to us. And that is why I need your help. I need each and every one of you to go out to my website, www.kathybarnettforcongress.com, kathybarnettforcongress.com, and to donate. I cannot do it by myself. I am exactly what most of you have been praying to God for in a leader, someone who will go to DC and represent we the people. I represent all that is good about this nation. And I intend to walk through the halls of Congress as the representative. Whether you live in the state of, in my county, in my district or not, is not really of, of, of importance. What matters is that we get, we retire as many Democrats as possible in the House and we replace them with people of integrity, people who truly love this country and want to do the best thing for this country. We now have Ayanna Presley going out and talking about doing compassionate release of prisoners back into the community. I mean, these people, I mean, like they never end. November 3rd is going to happen whether we like it or not. And when that day happened on November 4th, we want to make sure that we have done all that we needed to do to make sure people like myself are viable and we can fight the good fight and to take back our nation. Okay, guys, blessings. Have a good day. Enjoy your family.